Alrighty, Daily Trading Recap for this Wednesday, the 1st of December, 2021. Starting off the month of December here, last month of the year, with a little hard red day on the spy. This is going to be a very quick episode today. I had quite the stomach bug, was in and out of the bathroom all day today. Just not fun whatsoever, and that's the reason for no face cam. So let's just get in and out here quick. A little housekeeping first. Spy, of course, that hard 1% day again, looking pretty hard on the daily as well. But market volume, NASDAQ $338 billion volume, nice C2. Oh, that's incorrect. And OTC is $2.8 billion. We are a few hours after the close here as of now. So like I mentioned, pretty hard sell off on the SPY here after an all-time high touch a few trading days ago. So we'll see what type of ranges we want to hold from here. We're getting to that 450 mark, which is more of a psychological active mark. We'll see if this 430 becomes any point of drawing this thing closer. Uh, certainly keep our eyes on it. Let's get right into the trades. VBIV, I was one for six today all around, still paper. I'm um, going short through trading view, which is tough, of course, because I can't do pre-market. So this one was more of a mental watch for me today. I mirrored this trade or played this trade off of the back of what IMGN did yesterday. Um, that one actually spiked pretty hard today as well, too, which just shows that you can never get too comfortable in this type of market. But first day runner on IMGN went in a bigger flow. The same thing on VBIV today, where it had a perk, pulls back under VWAP, and then kind of double tops, comes back to the upside of VWAP and plays around here in pre-market still. But then just the whole morning, first uh, 15 minutes, first hour even here, uh, just becomes a down selling, nice little sit as a short. So that was the same thesis that I was looking to trade on VBIV today, starting in on pre, got like a 347-ish average here. Um, I was just mentally in at like 300 shares. So nice to see that we just completely dumped right out of the gates, covered some within this little flush here, this nice... Uh, harder volume push there just to take money as it's there and really didn't have any more legs left in it to continue dropping this thing I would have wanted to see closer to that three dollar mark or closer to where it was trading from previous days close uh, but kind of 310 was all that we got left out of this one but very very nice trade uh, on that one just playing off of the thesis of what a similar chart and a similar sector did yesterday so tr nice trade on that one CPIX second day player <coughs> looking to play for any morning dumpage uh, kind of in the same realm as VBIV but just looking for sell-off just lack of con continuation it tried to attempt to um, harder close into the close from yesterday's trading day from that first green day but just kind of bleeding and not showing a great amount of strength here but sure enough <laughs> we got just enough squeeze to get me out here I started in as I thought we were breaking uh, this relative low here to new low of day and it continued on for a nice little way but huge volume as we can see to push that thing up um, and it actually brought it all the way back to view up where i doubled up i was very confident in the probability of this trade after it had rejected this perfect little level of 415 kind of where these candles had topped and vwap so that was going to produce a nice little move to a lower a new low of day but somewhere we just got this uh, rejection if you want to call it or slap back to the upside that stopped me out at the obvious risk level of this previous high of day so a little bit of continuation after that but again this is why i'm paper trading over and over again is to continue to get these experiences and understand okay wow i i got stopped out but five minutes later it produced the little block that i was looking to trade you could, it's hard to see any real indication or exhaustion point to say this candle was the rejection area to start getting a short position but could certainly say for how big body this candle was uh, that was a nice indication that there's potential snowballage through more technical levels below it uh, if it did start to pick up steam on that one. ARDX also traded on the paper side. This was a mover yesterday. Um, higher floater, I believe. Yeah, 96 million floater, but still biotech. Love the sketchiness. On the volume profile on the daily, was showing a huge level here from this big candle day on the 20th, which for whatever reason that gap down was. But we were looking at a lot, a lot of overhead resistance around these areas. So I thought there was going to be a great, whether or not it's uh, or trying to find a specific level, it did actually end up showing today, uh, going all the way to 166, where it found the resistance and there was just really no more legs to continue this thing any higher after that. So I did have a little gap up um, in the pre-market today, and that's what I was looking for on the short side of kind of playing any down move. We got a dump right out of the gate. I was watching other tickers and... You know, I don't even want to say maybe should have, could have, would have, because I was willing, willing to let this thing play out if it had any VWAP rejection or just better sign of entry there. So I thought I was playing a little bit of a lower high here on this move, and it did have a nice little VWAP rejection. 
Um, but just out of nowhere, we get a huge volume slap that cracks to the upside of view up there, so stops me out, and then tried again at what I thought was another vo volume exhaustion point, and same thing, thought we were reversing going my direction, and just out of nowhere, huge slap on the bid comes to push this thing to new high of day, so. ISPC, I'll mention too quick, wanted to see if, just for funsies, it would actually continue to have a consecutive red day after this just crazy volatile daily move around it's had lately. Um, when just in before pre market or just before market open, I was thinking, oh shoot, I should have overnighted this one, taken some into this uh, little up move here into the close and try to play off of any gap down there. And then I realized, uh, no, I shouldn't have. <laughs> just like I mentioned, how many times on this thing it's just gone ridiculous in after hours, whether it has an offering, whether it just goes spikes and crazy. No, thank you. I put my attention elsewhere. So right out of the gate, I was looking for dump and continuation, just no life out of it whatsoever. And if there was any telling myself if there was any move up any bidders hitting the ask uh, i was just going to get out of the way immediately and serves me right cutting losses extremely extremely quickly there uh, just kind of playing off of a hunch that it would maybe play off of any bag holders just bleeding them out today for the thesis for my shorts but um, still had a little bit of life in it but that was really the only th juice left in it for the day slowly down trending a little perk here closer to vwap uh, just before power hour but uh, not much else in it 21 percent down day in the red though pretty ludicrous to see meip was another one that i traded just off of a thesis that it had this offering this one was a higher float as well i think a 90 million or let's double check 91 million i'm showing on scans here it had this green day big volume green day yesterday puts out the offering after the close but then gets immediately bought back up again um, and probably the trade thesis for me should have been since it didn't happen immediately after that, then the probability of the trade really wasn't there because I've traded these a few times. And that is a, one of the patterns in my playbook of if these offerings come out, it was actually shown very well on PTPI, BFRI, ISPC. If they put out that offering, that private placement that, and it doesn't just completely 100% dive off and just keep on going, sometimes they can start to linger. And it's just at that point that the bearish sign turns to bullish at that point. So yeah, a little bit of a higher float on this one. That's not to expect a sharper move, especially with how the price action was moving yesterday. But I, was, I bought right away within the open. Um, had a nice little move continue higher, and then it just got slammed with big volume. Huge taking out the bid underneath me. So got out for whatever slippage I got on that one. Again, paper trading size. I think I might have traded this one with a cash count, like three shares. <laughs> so took a little slappage on that one. But hey, part of the experience, part of continuing to develop this playbook and who I am growing as a trader as well. And last one, I just want to mention CNTX. I thought it was interesting, similar to see on this mover. The, we get this halt here in this lunch session that looks very similar to PTPI, how it reacted after the halt here, just looking at it. So we get a nice little perk with big volume into the halt. So we get the nice volume into the halt, then the gap up after the halt, but just really not much legs after it. So pulling up PTPI as reference again, which was a nice little mover yesterday. Halt in the morning session. Of course, they were far different reasons for these moves and far different stocks themselves. But um, just kind of an example or a little note for maybe the market sentiment for these small cappers halting and how that price action moves that yeah you can if you're long it you can potentially take a few off into the hold itself and maybe play for a little gap up after that but there's probably not going to be much more excitement after that move so that is all that i had today no hard scans for me we are gonna hop right back on the couch and just try and beat this bug uh this was, video was a struggle in itself too so i thank you guys for watching we will catch you guys on the next one